Hold on a second. Alright, you know what? Let's keep this on. Okay, I haven't seen a snowstorm like that in a very long time. How's it going everyone? I hope you're having a great holiday season. My name is Dylan and welcome back to the channel. Now, New York hasn't seen a snowstorm like this in a really long time, so I definitely had to go out and shoot. When the snow first started to drop, I decided to go around the neighborhood and just get some shots. I don't have footage of it because it was pretty crazy, but here are some pictures that I got. Now for the next day, I wanted to wake up early and go down to Midtown Manhattan to get some nice shots while it was still snowing. It wasn't as crazy as the night before, but I wanted to take you along for the ride to show you what shots I got. Most of this was recorded with my GoPro, but I did get a couple shots with my camera, but I mainly focused on getting pictures with it. Now the weather was still pretty crazy out there, so I'm going to do a little voiceover because the audio wasn't that great from the footage because all the wind and all the snow was just making it sound so fuzzy. So I'll just talk over and play some music in the background. So let's get right into it. So this is me heading downtown on the train. I wanted to show you guys what I was dealing with right now. I put a cover over my camera so that even with a camera like the EOS R, it would be protected from the snow because it was still snowing pretty hard out there in the morning. I was still warming up as you can see in these first couple of shots. I just wanted to get an overall view of how the environment looked. I'm just warming up, walking around, trying to get used to how everything's feeling right now. As you can see in the middle of the snowstorm, there was actually a reporter out there. I'm not really sure from where, but it was pretty exciting to be out while it was snowing trying to get these shots. Times Square really looked amazing in the snow, so I wanted to capture the entire thing. As you can see here, here's another POV with my camera in the bag and it's actually doing a pretty good job for being like, I think around $6 for two bags from Amazon. So I think it's definitely worth it. And as you can see in the pictures, it pretty much protected my camera. It was actually really great being at a place like Times Square where it's always packed as usual but it was pretty much empty in the morning and with the snow covering it, it just looked really incredible. I mean I could even walk in the streets, there were barely any cars heading down the middle so it was a really great time and a great experience. I hope we have another storm like this again because I would definitely love to come at nighttime and just shoot overnight all over downtown Manhattan and see what else I can get. Next up, we started walking towards Radio City Music Hall. I wanted to see how the ornaments looked and it was pretty nice seeing them covered in snow. And I definitely wanted to get a great shot of Radio City in the snow. Here at Radio City, I was trying to get a really good composition and I was just waiting for the perfect shot because I really wanted to get a taxi right in front of it and I think the shots that I got from here really came out great. It kind of sucks because of the pandemic that Radio City is basically closed. It would have been great to see their Christmas tree up 
but even still with the snow, it looked incredible. Now next up of course is the famous Rockefeller Christmas tree and I do have to say the tree was kind of disappointing this year. I mean I first saw it without the lights and it was just, it just looked really sad. But I think once they turned on the lights it came out really good. Now from the front the tree definitely looked incredible. I love it with the snow covered angels and everything going on. I'm surprised to see this many people out but it was definitely an incredible sight to see. Now next up of course we have St. Patrick's Cathedral but right across from that we have one of the most famous statues in New York. Atlas. If you didn't know, it's actually been here since 1937, I just found out, but I got some incredible shots of it. Next time, I definitely have to come at nighttime when it's in the middle of the blizzard. I think the shots will look even more incredible, so that's definitely on my bucket list. <laughs> After getting these shots, I started to head up towards Central Park. On the way, I got some great shots of the building decorations, as you can see. I wanted to get some incredible shots in the park with the snow covering up the entire fields, but in the park, it looked absolutely beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed these shots. In the comment section below, let me know what was your favorite out of all of them. I think mine might have been uh, Radio City Music Hall or of the Atlas statue. It looked absolutely incredible. Next time it snows, I definitely have to go at night and get some incredible shots. I definitely have to go when it's like in the middle of the blizzard. And that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. This is probably my last video of the year, but starting next year, I'm definitely gonna be ramping up the uploads and try to stay more consistent on here. I really enjoy making videos for you guys and I wanna grow my community on here. So make sure to subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys next year. doing you're cute you're funny focus there we go <laughs> now from the front the tree definitely wow what?